All right, just checking into see the screen's working. All right, perfect. All right, well, everybody, welcome. My name is Fausto from CyberTrade University. We're broadcasting live here from New York, and we're here to talk about how to master tape reading. So uh, with that said, just want to make sure, can everyone see me clear? Everyone can see me uh, clear up on the screen on the, on the webcam. Just want to do quick audio and visual. Louis, could you see me okay? All right, good, good, good. All right. So anyway, uh, with that said, everybody, we're going to talk for about maybe about 30 to 45 minutes. Um, the more questions you ask, the better you're going to learn how to trading, know more about Cybertree University, why we're here. But my goal today is not about just teaching you, you know, and you know, talking about the things of what we've accomplished and how we change people's lives, because that doesn't mean anything unless we could do the same thing for you. And that really, really comes down to it. So uh, but before we get started, just a quick little warning. Um, listen, I'm not making any guarantees or promises and, you know, varies from student to student. So, you know, please make sure you're very smart on what you invest in before you make your trades, because, um, you know, trading can be very, very risky. And I think a lot of people know that. All right. But this is strictly for educational purposes only. Now, um, just to get to know a little bit about everybody here, um, can everyone just tell me how long you guys have been investing for? Just give me a chat back. Let me know. Just want to get to know a little bit about everyone here in the room. A couple of months, a couple of years, a couple of days, 20 years. Eric, three years. Okay, good. Five years. All right, good, good, good. Wow, we got a lot of people who have been around here for a while. First day today. <laughs> okay. Um, now, my next question is, you know what? Let me stick and do a poll here. All right. I like my polls. And uh, who really trained you? Let me see this. Let's do a poll here. Let's share this poll. So are you self-taught? Have you took paid courses? Have you been coached and mentored by somebody? Just out of curiosity. Jeff, you could just do it right into the... A uh, poll question that's popping up on your screen. All right. All right, good, good, good. So it looks like most of you are answering this question. Great. Now let me end the poll. Let me share it. All right. So you guys could see the um, the sharing. It looks like a lot of you are self-taught and that's okay. Okay, there's 78% of you that have done it. Uh, trading is about, I would say, maybe a 90% failure rate. You know, like, wow, 90%. Holy crap. Yeah. You know what? Listen, how successful is someone going to be doing? How successful if someone traded your money, you someone invest, you know, if you would give your money to someone and knew what they were doing, right? Or was educated how to invest. Well, what do you think we're doing? All right. So my goal is to teach all of you the danger of trading, why a lot of you have done things backwards. And hopefully everybody here is going to take their phone right here and scan that QR code right now, because that QR code is gonna change your life, okay? Because I am going to make a guarantee here. You join my trading room for one week, you're gonna learn more in one week that you probably learned in probably taking anyone's course. Now, how do I know that? I'm not here to brag, but I live here in New York, I've been trained by some of the best traders in the world. We're endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. I'm featured on, on NASDAQ, Thinkorswim, TradeStation, Schwab. There's a reason for that. And not only that, but a lot of you really don't qualify to trade. And there's no one better than going out there, get a consultation, making sure it's for you or not. So if you do it now, save some time, click on that link, and I'll bring it up again for you right after that week. All right. now. Um, should I redeem and start? Uh, well, listen, Brian, you could start whenever you're, when you want to. You could start today. You could start next week, whatever it is, but just make sure you get that done. But let me tell you a little about myself, okay? Now, I started 30 years ago. There was a big uh, article written up uh, regarding uh, us day traders, uh, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was one of those kids. When I started, it was about a 1,000 of us. Now there's over a million of us doing around the world. So you look, I'm looking, you know, I'm basically your great, great grandfather, I'd probably basically call that. Now, regarding about being a good trader, uh, I, I competed everyone around the world. I beat every school in the industry. The thing is this, 
I'm not here to brag and tell you how great I am because that doesn't help you. The question is, can I teach you how to do it? And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for traders I could train to be part of my team. But to do that, I want to teach you the style. I want to talk about level three. I want to talk about level four quotes. I want to show you exactly how to read the future and not some indicator in the back. And hopefully you could be the next person that sits side by side with me in my next upcoming events. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm, I was just on NASDAQ last week. I've been featured on some of the biggest brokerage firms and financial stations. Why is that? Because not a lot of people understand the concept of trading, being a market maker, where I used to trade for other people's money. Um, I came to the conclusion that I want to learn how to trade my own money and, split, and not split the profits. But to do that, I've learned being in a brokerage firm, the only way you could succeed is you got to be part of a successful team and doing it like Wall Street does it. So as a bonus, um, I'm going to give everyone um, who does register, you will. I will give you a free copy of my book. You can go to Wiley, you could buy it for $40, $50, or I'll give it to you free at the end of the end of this presentation. It's a, I'm basically, it's how to beat market makers at their own game. It was the number one bestseller, and I think everybody here would enjoy it. Now, let's get started. Enough about me talking about myself. Let's talk about you, okay? And are you ready for the next market meltdown? That's what basically you're worried about. Now, you see the market's been going up and up over, the, over these years. Um, is it going to continue? Is it going to be more of it? Well, let's just take a look at an example of what happened yesterday. A lot of big news came out. Did everyone heard and saw what happened with the ETF regarding about the lawsuit against the SEC? Did everyone see what happened with that? Um, listen, you could wait for the next biggest crash. You could wait for the next biggest rally. But every single day, there's something going on. Just like yesterday, what happened with Bitcoin. And then with that, you had stocks like Mara, Riot, Coinbase. These stocks are public companies. You could have traded the stock, the option. You could also even traded the. Um, you could also even traded the, uh, the the stock itself. Mara, when that news came out, went from eleven up to fourteen dollars. You had Coin that ran from seventy six up to eighty six. You know, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Now, what are your other thoughts about other stocks? Listen, there are so many stocks that are moving every single day. And there are stocks that are going down every day. But what you have to focus on when it comes to trading is, why are they going up? Who's driving them up? And how do I know when to get out of them? Because you could sit there and trade these stocks all day, but the game plan is what makes them go up and down? And it's going to be two simple words, buyers and sellers. Now, um, does anyone here use any special platforms or any newsletters or follow anybody, people? John, you do? Good, good, good. Everyone, a few of you have? Okay, great. Well, let me tell you what our newsletter is right there in front of you. Buyers and sellers. That's it. That's all we focus on is buyers and sellers on the big percentage gainers and losers. You don't need these fancy newsletters and subscribe to it. Every brokerage firm gives it to you. But the thing is, and the problem with this is where people get confused is like Fausto, there's a lot of stocks out there. How do I know to trade, you know, DICE and not trade, you know, SPSE? How do I know how to trade Amazon and not today and, and, and adverse trade Apple? Well, that's what I'm going to cover. But finding them, and when you join our trading room, you're going to realize that 99% of the stocks that you're trading you could trade things that are a lot less riskier with a more uh, with a more reward uh, of a profit. So you're probably trading something so much more speculative and so much more volatile that when you come into the room, you're going to be like, my God, these things are moving so fast. I'm like, yeah. And you think you're going to trade them? Because I can't. But there are other stocks out there that are moving because it's all about control. But you got to ask yourself this very important question. Are you really making money in the market? I mean, are you really, really meeting that goal? You know, did you really get there? Are you, or listen, I'm not here to try to tell you, you know, like, hey, I'm here to brag. I made a million dollars, my next millionaire trade. Forget about that. You know what you are here to do? You're here just to live. 
You just want to make a day's pay. You don't, you don't, you don't need to be a super millionaire. You just want to survive because that's how I did it. Let me tell you, I've, I've traded with some traders that blew me away, made a fortune in trading. You know where they are today? 80% of them are, you know, in, in another industry. How is that possible? Because they got lucky. And the problem with luck, it's not skill. And that's what you have to understand. It's all about making a games play, but you got to know when to trade and when not to trade. Because when it comes to trading, it's not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. And that's why when, when you, depending on where you are logged in from and where you're from, you could be West Coast, East Coast, wherever it is. But when you come to trading, it's all about trading at the most, you know, in the morning and the afternoon. That's it, you know, depending on your time zone. Because when you see a stock like IONQ and it goes from 15 to 16 in about an hour, there's always going to be opportunities out there because in the middle of the day, things die out. Now, when it comes to trading, why do most traders fail? Because that's really what the, what the outcome is. Listen, everybody likes to talk about the winners. Does everyone ever talk about the losers? Because I spend more time talking about losers than winners. So let's talk about that. Some of you have spent hours, thousands of dollars learning indicators, learning this, learning that. Let's talk about the big money. And the big money is following the future. And the future are algorithms, high frequency trades, dark pools, all those things that control the market. That's what we need to cover. So we're going to talk about level two, level three, and level four. Now, let me just see if I can do another poll here. And um, just want to see if everybody has this. So does anyone here have NASDAQ book viewer? I want to start off with level three. I'm going to do a quick poll. Anybody here have it? It's going to be all you guys to fill out that questionnaire. Okay. Looks like a lot of you don't. All right. Uh, by the way, listen, there are some of you who have not answered this question. Mike, I didn't hear from you. Bruce, I didn't hear from you. What, what, don't, don't be scared to answer the poll. No one's going to pick on you. No one's going to rat you out. If you can't tell me to just say you're not sure, you, you don't you don't have it, whatever it is. Don't don't no, listen. I am not here for my health. Okay. I'm here to stop you from making those dumb mistakes why 90% of the people lose. All right. I'm gonna share those results and you could see, you know, from everyone that filled it out where you fall. Okay. So if you did say no, guess what? Don't feel too bad because a lot of them said no themselves. Now, you got to listen to me carefully. Because what I'm about to show you is going to be so depressing. Why? Because what you're about to learn is I should have known how to do this years ago. And you know what I'm talking about. And you knew this exists. But you didn't know until now that someone's going to teach you how to do it the right way. So let's talk about these, these platforms. I'm going to start off with NASDAQ uh, Book Viewer. I call it level three. Now, I'm a guest speaker at NASDAQ. I was just there last week. I'm there every month. You could go on our YouTube channel. You can go on our website. You can watch those interviews. But NASDAQ, the exchange, wants you to know how to trade the market. Most of you, even you could see how many of you were just basically um, how you answered that question. Think about this. This is how the exchange works. Why would you ever want something else? And it's going to be a dumb question. Does everyone here know how to drive a car? Okay. I think most of us know how to drive. Some of us, right? <laughs> You're probably saying. I know it's a dumb question, but what if I told you that there is, um, why you got to learn how to drive a car? Why don't you just use um, Tesla's new autopilot? Oh, sounds interesting, right? Yeah. Did you find how much it cost? Why well, I got to spend all that money? And secondly, do you really trust it? I mean, it'll freak, it'll freak you out if you ever drove something like the car drives itself, right? It's as stupid as that sounds, is as dumb as saying what I'm saying now. Oh, what do you need to learn how to trade? We're going to tell you how to trade. We'll tell you what stocks are moving. Well, why, why are you telling me that? Why is it going up? Oh, well, we did our analysts. You know, you know what? Stop spending money 
and let's learn what the exchanges want you to know. Let's talk about level three. Let me get my crayons out here for a second. Hold on a second. Let me move this over here. And uh, where's my crayons? Use my pointer too, by the way. All right. So these are your buyers and these are your sellers. See, buyers, sellers. Now you have three columns. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, what you're looking at is we're looking at Coinbase. And basically, this is the stock that's trading in the market. And what you're noticing is that whoever wants to buy the stock here is up on top. Whoever wants to sell their stock for the least of money is over here on the right on the sell side. So you're looking at a negotiated system. These are the, the highest buyers. These are the lowest buyers. These are the people looking to sell for the least amount of money. <laughs> These are people looking to sell for the most amount of money. These are the amount of shares that are looking to be sold at that price. These are how many orders make up that the, uh, those amount of shares. So what you're looking at is you're seeing the buyers, you're seeing the sellers, you're seeing how many shares looking to be bought and sold at that price and how many people make up that price. You're seeing every single order in the entire world that want to trade coin. Think about that for a second. You have a seat on the exchange. Why in the right mind would you not want that? Why would you not want that? You know what? When I started, I tell you why most people didn't want it, because it cost you several million dollars to have a seat on the exchange. Okay. How much would you pay to have a seat on the exchange today? If you had an opportunity to surround yourself with some of the greatest traders, that that is the floor, the auction, the place that you always wanted to go where the dealers buy their cars because you had to always pay a premium. Now you have the opportunity to find out what's going on the street. What would you would you what would you pay for that? Would you pay a million dollars for it? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe not yet. Maybe some of you can't afford it. Would you pay a thousand dollars? I hear crickets. How about this? Would you pay a hundred dollars? Is it worth to pay a hundred? Oh, now we're getting people answer. Brian. Yeah. Okay. How about this? Would you pay fifteen dollars for that? To have a seat on the exchange. Oh, now I'm getting yeses. Margaret. What about you, Carlos? 15. Wow, my God. From a million, we went to $15. Am I like making up like some bullshit? I mean, is this really true? No, I'm not lying. That's what it costs. That's what it costs. Who here would want to spend $15 a month to have a seat on the exchange? To know where Goldman is, Merrill is, Shearson, BlackRock all the algorithms, all the dark pools, all that stuff, okay? Well, if that interests you, this is what we're going to do, okay? Uh, where am I? Oops, oh, there I am. <laughs> trying to find out, trying to clear my drawings. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Um, I want you to email me, and I'll send you the link. Fausto P at CTU Corp.com. All right. So write down my email address and I'll tell you where to get it for 15 bucks. All right. Fair enough. All right. So some of you probably need to be convinced. Okay, great. I have a seat on the exchange, Fausto, but what's the style? What is your what is your style behind this? What makes it how am I going to utilize this this stuff? Okay, I'll tell you how it works. We're looking at a stock carnival cruise line. OK, and you're looking at a chart. The stock is at like 1780. And you'll notice that the stock came down and found some type of a support level right around here, around 1710. What happened at the 1710? It hit 1710 and it went right up to 1760. Now, why did it pick 1710? How could I have not known that? How could I have had a game plan knowing and been patient? And could have bought it where it bounced. Well, when you look here on the NASDAQ market, when you look at the buy side, because buyers make support, you'll notice that you have two big buyers. You have a 36,000 share buyer at 1710, and you got a 56,000 share buyer at $17. 
Now you got buyers for 15 shares at seven, you know, uh, 15 shares, 100 shares, 4,000 shares. Between those two orders, right around that price, you're talking literally of almost 100,000 shares. Now I don't know about you, but if I had to trust somebody, I would I would rather watch him than watch you, Philip, or you, Rose, or you, Lewis. Okay. Because it's not what you think, because you're just the ants. You're trying to just get the crumbs. These guys are trading 36,000, 57,000, okay? 56,000, I'm sorry. Those are the people that make support levels, not some Fibonacci or MACD. Just like a stock will make a resistance levels. You have a stock like here, VXTX, right? Stock goes, starts at 1550. It goes up to 1620. It comes back down to 1550. It goes back to 1620, comes back to 1580, gets to 1610, down, 1610, down, 1610, down, eventually comes out to 50. What the hell's the problem that this stock can't break through 1620? Well, they're obviously got to be a seller because that's what makes resistance. Well, when we look at the sell column, we got 300 shares, 500 shares. But when we work our way down, right around 1620, you got a 25,000 share seller. Now, that wasn't as much as we saw in the previous stock, but every stock is different. But I'll tell you one thing, when you're looking at more of the average trader out there looking to sell, which are in the hundreds, 25,000 is almost, you know, a lot more percentage wise than any other price out there. So you know what? I think I would follow that guy than follow what some, you know, RSI says. Let's go check out some examples this week. CVS. Okay. CVS is going down. By the way, did anybody know what's going on with CVS? What happened? Why did CVS go down? Let's see how some of you answer this question. Why did CVS go down? I don't know if you guys watch it. I know some of us go shopping there. Maybe you get your medication. Why did it go down? You should know this because it affected Dick's Sporting Good. It's good. It affected uh, uh, Nordstrom's. It affected. Uh, uh, Macy's, all of them. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. The idiots have purchased a shitty company. No, that's not one. Stealing. They've been doing a huge theft going on. Okay. There's nothing wrong with the companies. They're doing great, but their profit margin is very small. So all they're doing is that, you know, they get robbed left and right. Now, not to get this like, you know, oh, a political thing and this and that. Unfortunately, catastrophes make opportunities for us traders. If it's the hurricane that's going down in Florida, if it's, if it's, uh, if it's, uh, whatchamacallit, if it's uh, COVID, if it's, you know, uh, 9-11, whatever it may be, uh, the financial crisis, the internet bubble, whatever it may be, you can't take things personal as a trader. But in this case, a lot of these companies got really beat up because of stealing. So, you know, or it could be Budweiser, you know, with, uh, you know, what happened with Bud, you know, having a transgender person, you know, going out there and you could probably say, hey, that that's totally wrong, whatever it is. Well, listen, as a trader, people didn't like it. The stock went down. What am I going to do? It Hold it? You think I'm going to sit there and support it with a stock going down? Listen, I own the company, uh, you know, for it or not, it's going low. It went lower. So I'm not going to hold it. I'm not going to be the sucker holding the bag. I'm going to get out of it. Or maybe some of you be more savvy. You might short the stock. Or maybe do an option, put a put call on it. But to get to the point is this. The stock went down. And you're probably wondering, well, well how did you know it was going to go down? I'll tell you why it's going to go down. Because people were selling it. But there's always going to be a buyer somewhere. There's things that are called program trading. There are things that are, you know people just want to cover their shorts. So some of you are like, well, how do you know, Fausto, where the buyers are? Well, let's go check out. Let's go on the exchange. Let's go pay the $15 a book viewer and see what the street's doing. And then sure enough, you'd be like, okay, well, you know what? There's 108,000 share buyer at $64.75. And there are 35 people around the world that make up that 108,000. Look over here. There are 200 shares, 300 shares, 100 shares. I mean, you're talking 100,000 shares. So no matter how bad you think that that there that that news is on that company, how do you really really know how much lower is it going to go? 
The way you have to look at it is you got to follow the street. And by following the street, what happened? Stock hit that support level. And in less than an hour, it bounced $2. Do you realize $2 on a thousand shares is a $2,000 profit? You do that every day, that's a half a million dollar profit. If you just made half that, you're talking a quarter million dollar profit. Who doesn't want that job? Uh, Rick, um, I'm going to get to that question at the end, okay? He's asking me, can I use it for indicator uh, for indexes and commodities? We didn't get there yet. But yes, you can. Let's look. Okay, now let's look at this. Um, U.S. Steel. Rumor buyout with U.S. Steel, okay? Uh, a couple of companies are interested in it. Stock's going up. Question is, how much higher is it going to go? So let me ask you, everybody here, where do you think, how much higher could U.S. Steel go? How do you know where to get out? What do you do? What do you need to do? Check the news? No, <laughs> not that. Look at previous resistance? Okay, Richard. Brian says, how about look for some sellers? I think i go with you, Rich. Okay. I mean, uh, Brian, I'm going to look for sellers. So I'm going to go down to NASDAQ. I'm going to check out what's going on here because I don't know where to, how much higher this thing is going to go. But I'll tell you one thing. I want to book a profit if I own it at a good price because it could be 40, it could be 50, or you know what? It could be 3180, 90. And how do we know it's 3190 out of all the numbers? I don't know because maybe there's a quarter billion shares sitting there in the offer. Is that still not worth $15? Huh? How about this? I'm going to give you my name, my number again. Fausto P at ctucorp.com. $15. How would you not want this? To know that you bought a stock and there's a quarter million share seller out there that you, someone's telling you on their newsletter or on their indicator or on some chart that, oh, it's going to go to 32. It could go to 32, but let's get past this uh, 3190 first, if you know what I mean. Uh, yes, uh, Robert, we didn't get to that, okay? That I'm saving the best for last. But the thing is this, uh, everybody here, is that, you know, everything when it comes to trading, nothing is free in this world. You have to make an investment when it comes to trading. And it all comes down to knowing where those buyers and where those sellers are. Because if you didn't know that seller was out there, look what happened in the chart. It hit it, it came back down. It hit it, it came back down. It hit it, came all the way back down to 30, 60. And you know and I know, you've been there time and time again. And you know that there's someone out there selling a stock that, you, you know, and you would wish you'd known where he was. But guess what? Now you can. So. There's my email. I expect I'm going to get a bunch of emails soon. So I look forward to seeing everybody, you know, asking me how to get that. Now, let's move on. Let's upgrade to level four, which one of you was just asking me, what is book map? Book, uh, book map. Okay. So um, if you found me through book map, I've been there from the day one when they started. Now let's talk about this. Uh, level four is basically level three on steroids in a way of now you're seeing it more of on a heat map where you could actually see how long those people have been out there and how long they've been trading there. So now when you look at this is that now you're looking at orders where you're seeing a stock go up and you could see, you know, like this $14, this $14 seller out there for 90,000 shares. You could see how long he's been out there. So when you look at over here, this, uh, the COB, which means current order book, that is like level three. That's like the NASDAQ book viewer. But now when you're looking at a chart, you're implementing time and sales. You're implementing, you know, uh, uh, colors, all that stuff. So let's look at a couple of stocks that bounced over here. So here you have a stock RX, uh, RTX going down. Okay, came out with some bad earnings. Okay. Now, when we implement level four, You'll notice because I know some of you here have always been in a bad trade and like, my God, do I sell it here? Um, how really bad are those earnings? Well, it doesn't matter what you think. It matters what the street thinks. 
And, you know, you want to know, do you take a loss now? Do you hold on? Maybe you're at support levels. But when you look over here, you'll notice that the stock had a buyer and he started adding to his bid right around $82. And you could see it's about $30, 30,000 shares out there. Now, there are buyers out there, 200, you know, 300,000. But right there is where you see the big buyer. And by knowing that buyer was out there, and you knowing that not to get out, if you just held a little bit longer, guess what? Stock hits that $82 and goes all the way up to 85, even with bad earnings. Why that happened? Because of that big buyer was out there. Let's see what a stock reverses at resistance. Here you have a stock, NEO. Good trend, trading at 1150. It's at 1180. But there has been someone sitting there for about 270,000 shares at $12. Now that is literally about 20 cents away. So the goal is this, you're always looking to take a profit. And when you look at a chart and you're seeing you're at 1190, you'd be like, my God, this thing looks awesome. I know Neo. It's like it's it's the it's the copycat of Tesla. It was a, it was expensive stock. Maybe this is the bottom. Yes, that could happen. But unless that seller gets out of the way, it's not going anywhere. Like it or not, hope all you want. Until that seller moves out of the way, if someone's going to take them out, you're not going to get past it. And you could hope and hope and hope all you want, but you could see 11, 12, 1, 2, 2 o'clock, still didn't want to break it. All because of not what you think or what you read is because of that sellers out there. Now, what happens if a stock breaks resistance? How does that even happen? You see stocks like, oh, I thought it was resistance. The chart told me that was past resistance. How did it break it? Well, listen, there are sellers. And guess what? Sellers can be taken out. Someone could be like, oh, I like that stock. I don't care that there's 76,000 share seller out there. I'm buying it. And you know what? That can happen because stocks break resistance all the time. And when they break resistances like that, and you see those green balls and those stocks go up, that's how stocks go from $10 to $10.70 in less than an hour. And that's a pretty big ass run. Better time than never. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly how we could do this and learn more than that. But let, let me ask everybody and ask a question. Did you guys learn anything? Did you guys learn anything yet? Richard, a lot, Margaret said. Yes, sir, Alex. Okay. Yes, yes, you have. Now think about that. How long were you talking for? 30 minutes? Some of you here have been trading for years. Some of you here have never even heard of this before. I'm like, my God, I knew this existed. How did I not know this? Well, the reason why is because, believe me, I was you 30 years ago. And when I was originally taught this, I was like, oh, my God, how in the right mind is the general public going to think they're going to compete against not having this information? And the difference between 30 years ago until today is that 30 years ago, you had to pay $1,000 a month to a million dollars to have this data. And now today it's costing you $15. And what in their right mind would anybody not want that? And you know what I always find? Two reasons. Number one is too cheap. Or number two, you want free stuff. And let me tell you right now, and don't take this the wrong way. If you're here for free stuff, do yourself a favor. Start interviewing a stockbroker because you're going to lose all your money. You think $15 is a lot of money? You think that's that much? You don't even deserve to trade. Okay. I used to pay $20 a ticket to get in and out of it as a market maker. And some of you here that traded 10, 20 years ago when you dealt with brokers, you had to pay $200, $500, $300 in commissions just to do a trade. Right. Remember that? And then they used to charge you commission if they made you money. Remember that? Now, what would the tickets cost? Free? Let me explain something about the word free. How does a brokerage firm make money on a free ticket? How do they make, how, I mean, do you ever, ever, why don't you write that down? Why don't you call your brokerage firm? Hey, why are your tickets free? How do you guys make money? Okay. 
And you know what? This is how they make money because they trade against you. They don't give you the data that you need and they're going to know you're going to lose because trading is an 80, 90% failure rate. So they're taking the bet. They're trading against you. So once again, if you're looking for free stuff, you're going to be part of that 80, 90% failure rate. You're sick and tired of and knowing that this actually exists and you want to know how to play the game, pay the $15, okay? Now, why am I here? Why am I telling you this? Because what I'm looking for is I'm looking to teach traders how to trade with me. I am only, there, there are thousands of schools out there that teach you how to trade. Believe it or not, there's a lot of them that are my students that started, okay? A lot of them start, start at CyberTrade University. And the thing is this, eventually, once you know how to play the game, then you'll know why to trade an option. Then you'll know why to do a swing trade. Then you'll know why to maybe trade a future. Maybe then, then you know, you got to know the foundation of trading. A lot of you are like, you started at the 12th grade and then you got into the past first grade. And that's why people are failing left and right. So that's basically that where that comes in. All right. So you have to, another thing I want to let you know is this. September and October, November are the best months of the year. So you're at a really great time of learning how to trade. Because summer's over, so why not get into it? So this is why CyberTrade University, and I know this for a fact, that if anybody here ever took training before, none of you could, pro none of them could probably put, put this up on their screen to tell you they've been featured or endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms and exchange in the industry. And let me tell you something, traders. These brokerage firms would never have Fausto Publisi and CyberTrade University on their shows if they thought we were teaching people how to lose money. So they do credit checks on us and everything else. So trust me, you're in good hands when it comes to that. And not only that, that's why we have a five-star rating, Google, uh, um, Google rating. Okay. Now, this is what I'm looking to do. I'm not looking to sell you the $49, the $39, or the $15. What I'm looking to do is this. Does everybody have their phone? Okay. I want you to put it on camera because I'm going to give you a QR code right now. So everyone here is going to register because I'm going to give you one week in my trading room to see if this all works live because we practice what we preach. And this is what you're going to get. You're going to get live audio broadcasting when the market opens up you're going to get live audio broadcasting when the market closes for one whole week we trade from nine o'clock actually we start at eight o'clock in the morning all the way up to four o'clock going into the close you don't got to be there all day you could be there in the middle of the day in the morning whatever it is and every single one of you are going to get the opportunity to talk to my staff we're not going to give you an email we're not going to make you text we're not going to say, oh, go to a private chat. We're not a one-man operation, okay? Might look pretty good, some of these people. You know, they might look great on YouTube. But we have a, you know, listen, we love our traders. And we'll do everything we can in our power to kind of help you get successful to trading. But you got to take the, and you got to make the small investment to get in there. This is why we, we you know, we, we'll bring the greatest gurus in there in trading. And let me tell you. There's a lot of bad ones out there too. So this is what I'm looking to do. Take your phone or you can click on that link right there that we posted in the chat for $9. Money back guaranteed. I'm going to give you one week access in my trading room. That's it, $9. Now, forget about the $15 for the book view or forget about the, the you know, the, uh, book map, whatever, all that stuff, a platform. How about seeing it really working live in the market for $9? And my thing is this, what does that cost you? $9. The $9 to me, let me just tell you, I don't need your $9. You guys looking behind my shoulder? You see that right there? And please don't come and steal in my house. That's a signed personal autograph of Michael Schumacher. Okay. That thing's got to be worth close to 20, 30,000. I got shoes over there that cost 10,000. I got a painting, right? Baseballs right here that are worth about 50,000. I don't need your $9, okay? You know what I need? I need real people. And the $9 just tells me you're a real person. That's all it is. That's all it is. 
And I'm not going to hit you a week later, you know, with extra fees. I don't need your $9. I am looking for serious traders. That's all I'm looking for. Now, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get one week in our trading room. You're going to get live commentary. You're going to get some workshops. Okay. And you know what? As a bonus, how about this? I'll even talk to you on the phone. You know why? Because I think you got a lot of questions to ask. And there's no better person better to ask than your mentor. So how many of you have been in a webinar or have gone there somewhere and actually spent hundreds, if not thousands, and never even spoke to anyone on the phone? Now you're paying $9 for it. Once again, why am I doing that? Because I'm looking for serious traders. And if you're serious, we'll take you serious. But I don't know anything about you. I don't know where you come from. I don't know if you're qualified. But believe me, we're going to vet you and we're going to make sure. And you might like what we say. You might not like it. But we'll tell you the truth at the end of the day. Because this is going to be an interview. Um, when can I So my, oh, when can I start? Listen. Um, listen, it's fresh in your mind. So you want to start right after, after we get off the phone, you know, after the webinar, start after you want to start on Monday, start on Monday, you know, but don't let this thing go past you. Don't think about it. There's nothing to think about because after the week, if you want your nine dollars back, I'll give it back, but I'm looking for serious traders. Now there's um th that's the the promo you're going to get the weekly uh guaranteed you're going to get the uh, free coaching with me all that stuff for that now i uh, got a couple of people uh, that ask me questions some of the popular question is do i need to have a brokerage account no you don't you don't need a brokerage account absolutely not oops sorry about that you, you do not need a brokerage account when it comes to trading okay um we don't want you to buy and sell anything. All we want you to do is watch. Okay, that's it. Now, when you register, very important. We're going to ask you five important questions. Please let us know a little about you. Are you trading? Did you take classes with somebody? Okay. Um, who's your broker? So we know. We want to make sure you have the right brokerage account. Some of you are like, did I? I don't know. Is this the right company? And not believe me. The more you help us, the more we can help you. Then there's going to be a calendar to book your appointment. Everybody here is going to be talking to one of our education advisors. They're going to, um, you know, we're going to do a walkthrough, show you what the trading room is all about. So when you go in there, you're not confused because some of you, you know what I'm talking about. They, they you, you buy these programs and they're like, okay, here's a, here's a, a demonstration. Watch this video and I'll show you what to do when you're on your own. Yeah, that's that's that really worked good for the for the doctor that read a book and it's going to do brain surgery on you. So that doesn't really work out too well. Um, so you don't need to have a brokerage account. Don't worry about that. All you need right now is $9. Uh, a couple of questions coming across here. Michael, uh, okay, but if I learn the methodology, can I apply to futures? So Michael, a um, couple of things about futures, options, and everything else. You can use futures um, towards this uh, trading that we do. And I personally just trade stocks. I'm not a jack of all trades. But if you are a futures trader or an options trader, all I could say is this, how long have you been doing it for? And are you successful at it? If you've been doing it for more than three months and you're not making, you know, double doubling your brokerage account, if you don't see that you're consistent, you're probably wasting your time. You probably found the wrong person teaching you or you're wasting your time. Trading the stock market, when you turn on a TV, you open up the paper, what do they talk about? They talk about the stock market. That's all they talk about. I rarely ever hear them talk about options. I har hardly ever hear them talk about futures. I hear them talk about cryptocurrency more than anything. Stick what people talk about. That will make you a better trader. All right. Uh, question. Uh, if I use Bookmatic, does it still need NASDAQ Book Viewer? Uh, Lewis, no, you don't. But you know what? It's nice for the $15 is really going to break you. Listen, you're not tied into like a long-term contract. You go month by month. If you want to cancel, you cancel it. That's all. But it, it is nice to kind of get a feel so you know you appreciate what you have and not. But you know what? Let us teach you how it works first. Take the $9 and go out there. Now, let, let me just do a couple of shout outs because I got a bunch of people that just registered. Uh, Brian Chu from... From California, you got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Zachary from Philadelphia, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Who else we got? Uh, Ingrid, 
Got your registration from Texas, Spring, Texas. Welcome aboard. I see all the people are registering right now. Traders, there are over 100 people in here. Why am I not seeing all 100 you registered? What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? You're going to be trading side by side by a 12 time champion, endorsed by every brokerage firm, you know, a trader that's been a market maker down in Wall Street. What do you have to lose? It's a money back guarantee. $9 is not going to hurt you, but it's going to teach you the fact. And even if you are an options trader and says, well, I don't really trade stocks. Well, let me tell you this. How does an option move? It's the movement of the stock. Don't you think you know how to trade? Don't you think you need to know how to trade the stock first before you know how to trade an option? You know what I mean? I'm going to register, Lou. Oh, like, like I said, I'm, I'm still waiting for you, Lou. I'm, I'm, I see you in here. But listen, it's fresh in your mind. Go register now. Don't put on the side. Get involved. Okay? Mike, thank you very much. Got your registration from Florida. Hopefully you're not part of that hurricane. Uh, who else we got here? Debbie, got your registration. Uh, Jill, got your registration from Ontario, Canada. Welcome aboard. Look forward to teaching you. Jack, just got your registration. Thank you very much. From Chicago, look forward to seeing you. Uh, Alan, got your registration from Beverly Hills. That's not California, by the way. I can see that somewhere else. What is that? Minis uh, Missouri? Welcome aboard. Uh, any other questions? Any other questions? A uh, uh, question came up. Uh, when could I start? Listen, like I said, whenever you're ready. I know if, if you, you know, like... If you're looking to start on the, the week, you whenever it is, I know some of us have got, you know, got Labor Day coming up, whatever it may be here in the United States. But you know what? Just get, get yourself zoomed in, book your appointments before they sell out. Because the faster you book your appointments, my book, you know, you're gonna my, my slots get booked up pretty quickly. So make sure you take care of that. Um pot, I don't know if it's would be compatible to the India stock market because I don't trade the Indian market. Okay, I only trade the U.S. market. Uh, Robert has a question. Did you answer it already? But asked again. Uh, your group doesn't do a lot of futures trading. No, Robert, I don't. But I do know a lot of really good futures traders. So if you really want to know somebody that's really good at it, send me an email. I'll tell you who to go to. And they do use our style of level four. Send me an email. I'll, I'll be happy to send you over to them. You know, I, you know what? You could do all the work you want and do all the research you want. Everybody could be, you know, a hell of a salesman and, you know, could be endorsed by somebody. But some of these people really don't qualify. I know a lot of people in this industry. I know who's full of shit and who's not, you know. Some of these people are just great YouTubers. Some of these people, you know. Listen, when you're around as long as I've been around for 30 years um, and you got an A-plus rating to Better Business Bureau, you know, you never had any problems or issues. We obviously doing something right. I know a lot of people that are saying, Richard asks, I got your registration from Quebec. Look forward to teaching you. By the way, for all the Canadians out there, next week, I will be in Toronto at the Money Show. So would be great if you guys register now. And then when I meet you up in Toronto, if you want to see me face to face, even though we'll still talk on the phone, um, be happy to meet you up there. So look forward to teaching you there. Seeing everyone register right now. Uh, Ken uh, Goodkind got your registration from Penn Valley, Pennsylvania. Right up the block from us. Love Pennsylvania. I don't know if we have any Pittsburgh fans out there, but uh, Pennsylvania's been always been always been great for me. My uncle lives there. Actually, my grandfather's from Pen uh, from Pennsylvania. He came here, moved back to Italy, married my grandmother. They had their kids, so I'm first generation Italian. One thing I learned um, that being first generation Italian, uh, my parents came here with no money. Uh, we were extremely poor, you know, and you know all their siblings have became, became very successful, all multimillionaires, hard work. One thing I've learned is that you put, you, you know, my father always taught me this, and this is how what I'm trying to advise all of you. You want to be good at something, you got to surround yourself with people that are really good at it. In other words, you want to be rich, hang out with rich people. You want to be poor, hang out with poor people. You want to get in, you, you want to get, keep yourself out of trouble, stay out of, stay away from troublemakers, you know? So worked out pretty well. 
And that's what you have to learn in trading. You want to be a good trader? Hang out with good traders, okay? And the only way you know if they're good traders is listen to the traders in the room and see if they're doing well themselves. And not only that, but another thing you're going to notice being part of CTU is that a lot of the people that are in the room are, are probably like you, retirees, you know, business owners, engineers, you know, not some thousand dollar video game players, you know, trying to, you know, pay for their college. So that's the beauty of it. So you'll see, you'll get very, very, very familiar with it. Uh, I'm from uh, Pennsylvania, Illinois, Fausta, how you, uh, the garden. Uh, this, uh, well, funny you say that. So my kids, uh, Lewis, uh, they, they, they play crew. And I remember going to Villanova. Uh, I know it's a big, big crew uh, college in Pennsylvania. So uh, been there, done it, beautiful school. A lot of people in my town actually go to Villanova, you know. Uh, my kids actually end up going to Delaware, uh, University of Delaware. But uh, but the garden's doing great. Hopefully you subscribe to my Fausto Home Living channel. I'm actually, this weekend, we're actually doing our yearly sauce. Our, our uh, We make about three, 400 jars of tomato sauce. And I actually have a video how to make sauce. So. Um, once again, definitely watch that video if anybody wants to learn how to make very authentic Italian sauce. But as much as I want you guys to watch my videos on Faust Home Living, because I have so much time on my hands, that's why I'm here today. This is what trading is all about. It gives you the freedom to travel, to do hobbies that you always want, spend time with the grandkids, but you got to learn the right way. A couple of people before we go, everyone, before we leave. Um, Robert N from Seaford, New York. Wow, you're right, Robert. You're right next to us. Right, right. Our office was in Syosset, you know, and, and uh, like I said, originally from South Shore. Big, big fisherman. I don't know if you, I don't know if uh, Robert, you fish, but uh, big fluke man, you know, love, love tuna fishing. I actually was just in a competition this weekend and, uh, you know, and uh, in a fluke tournament. So, Great area, beautiful area. All right, everybody, I got to go. Once again, take your phone, click on that link, get registered. There's that Fast Home Living channel if you want to watch it. But most importantly, take the $9. Let's get involved. Everyone should have been signed up. If I didn't, if you didn't sign up, listen, maybe you're not ready. It's okay. Maybe you want to do your homework. Uh, maybe you want to know a little bit more about Cyber Train University. Maybe you will need to come back again. That's fine. We'll still be here. I'll be here for another 30 years. I love what I do, but most important, I love changing people's lives. So let's just make a very small investment. Let's try it out. And hopefully we can make you, uh, you know, hopefully we can make you a real trader. All right. Thanks for coming. Enjoy the rest of your summer, your Labor Day, everybody. And everyone in Florida, if you are from Florida, hopefully you'll be safe. And uh, we'll see you all in the trading room. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Have a great day.